From British Empire to Commonwealth When Great Britain lost the American colonies in 1783, the British Empire was still growing. During the 1800s, New Zealand, Canada, Australia and India all became important colonial countries. By the middle of the 1800s, the British Empire controlled over one quarter of the world's population. Colonies that had mostly British immigrants, like Canada, Australia and New Zealand, were given a large degree of self-rule as early as the 1800s. Other colonies, like India and South Africa, had to fight long and hard to become independent. After World War II, 1939-45, the end of the British Empire was unavoidable. India became independent in 1947. Within a few decades, the rest of the colonies had also gained their independence. The Commonwealth About 50 of the former colonies have remained loosely connected in an organisation called the Commonwealth. Like the old British Empire, the Commonwealth covers every geographical area, culture and religion. The Commonwealth countries have various kinds of governments, but nearly all of them have the British monarch as their head of state. That means that the Queen has a symbolic or ceremonial role, but it is the country's government that runs the country. Some people joke that the only thing the Commonwealth countries have in common is no wealth. It is true that many of them are third world or developing countries. However, the Commonwealth also includes wealthy nations, like Canada and Australia. The Commonwealth nations share some common culture. They are all English-speaking. The countries that had many British immigrants, like Canada, Australia and New Zealand, now have English as a first language. Others, like India and South Africa, have English as an official second language. Traditions, such as playing cricket and rugby, are also shared culture in some Commonwealth countries. The Commonwealth Games are held every four years. Even though many big sporting nations like the USA and Russia are not part of the Games, the countries that do participate make up 30% of the world's population. Most of the nations that take part in the Games once belonged to the British Empire. Being part of the Commonwealth is voluntary. Some former colonies have made a point of withdrawing. The first country to do this was Ireland in 1949. A few countries have been forced out. In 1961, the Commonwealth sent a strong message against apartheid by forcing South Africa to resign. South Africa was allowed back in the Commonwealth in 1994 when apartheid ended.